Welcome to the Mr. Spreadsheet YouTube channel and the fourth video of our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet series where we are building the spreadsheet template that you see on screen. In this section, we concentrate on introducing bank balances to our data entry worksheet, which you can then reconcile to your business bank statements. You can catch up on the design of our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet to date by viewing the first three videos in this series. Links to these are shown in the comment section below. As usual, we are giving away a free copy of this completed spreadsheet template. To get your free copy, all you have to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and then send us a direct message quoting free bookkeeping spreadsheet. We will then send you the download link together with a 100% discount code which you can then apply against the product's cost. Alternatively, you can download the product directly from the Mr. Spreadsheet website where it is priced at just $9.99. Just follow the link shown above and in the description section below. In the previous video, we created our chart of accounts and then we used this listing to create drop-down boxes to speed up our input of the analysis type that we want to use against each individual transaction. In this video, we will expand the range of this drop-down box routine and will then introduce our bank balances section where we employ the sum if command and we introduce the naming of ranges to simplify this routine. So let's get started. In the first line of our bookkeeping spreadsheet, we have drop-down boxes in cells D6 and E6. Let's now copy these drop-down boxes up to the last line in our bookkeeping spreadsheet. Highlight the range D6 through to E6 and then copy and drag these down to the last row in our table, which in our case is row 25. The values in rows 7 through to 25 now contain the same values as row 6. Let's delete these values. Highlight the range D7 through to E25 and then hit the delete key. The values now disappear, but importantly, the drop down boxes remain. OK, now let's reapply our formatting to this section. Highlight cells D7 through to E7 and from the fill color palette on the home ribbon, pick up the matching light green background color. Now select the range D6 through to E7 and use the Format Painter tool to reformat this part of the table. That's great. Let's now enter in our bank balances. Select cell H2 and type in starting balance. And in cell H3, Enter in our starting bank balance of 525.76. You can pick this balance up from your bank statements. In cell J2, type in receipts. In cell J3, we want to both select and to add up all instances in the table below where the type is equal to receipts. To automate this process, we will use the sum if command. So, in cell J3, type in the following formula. Equals, sum if, open brackets, highlight the type range of D6 through to D25, enter a comma, then the word receipt, enclosed in speech marks, comma, then highlight the value range of H6 through to H25 and close the brackets. Hopefully the value of 500 is returned, as this is the sum of all instances in the table below where the type is equal to receipt. We will now tidy up this formula so that it is easier to understand. Firstly, Highlight the range D6 through to D25. Then pick up the formulas ribbon. From here, select the Define Name tool. 
In the New Name dialog box that opens, type in Type Range in the Name field, with no spaces, and hit OK to save and close. Now highlight the range H6 through to H25, and use the Define Name tool once again, and give this range the name Value Range, again with no spaces, and click OK to save and close. Let's return to our original SUMIF command in cell J3 and overtype the section D6 through to D25 with type range and overtype the H6 through to H25 with value range. Press return to save the revised formula. Hopefully the formula still returns the value of 500 and the sum if formula now reads equals sum if open brackets type range comma receipt in inverted commas comma value range and close the brackets this is a lot tidier and a lot clearer than the original formula now with your cursor in cell k2 type in the word payments in cell k3 we can use the same sum if command as in cell j3 Navigate back to cell J3 and copy and drag the formula into cell K3. This returns the same value as J3. We need to slightly adjust the formula such that it picks up payments and not receipts. So with cell K3 active, overtype the word receipt with the word payment. With any luck, you will now return the value of minus 215. Now, in cell L2, type in closing balance. And cell L3, the formula becomes equals plus I2 plus J2 plus K2. This should return the value of 810.76. Now, highlight the range I2 through to L2. And make bold. And resize the font to fit the cell's widths and then use a font color to suit. And then align this to the right. Format the values in the range I3 through to L3 to bold and set them to two decimal places. Finally, select the range B3 through to G3 and from the home ribbon, pick up the Merge and Center tool and align this to the left. Enter in your title or copy in my values. Then increase the font size and make this bold. We can now pause for a moment and reflect on the Excel formulas and functions that we've used so far. We have introduced the SUMIF command and then named ranges to help us use the SUMIF command. In the next section, we will use our bookkeeping spreadsheet to help us understand and calculate our business's gross profit and also examine the purpose and benefits of this important metric. We do hope that you enjoyed watching and designing this bookkeeping spreadsheet video tutorial series with us. If you are new to the Mr Spreadsheet channel then please do subscribe and if you want to be notified of our future video releases, then please be sure to select the notifications option as well. If you need further help or clarification of the various formulas, functions, commands and routines that we have used, then please do use the comment sections below to leave your message. We will always reply to these. And finally, if you like this content, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, details of which will follow shortly.